Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an intuitive proof of the sine of a sum of angles and the cosine of a sum of angles in one picture. But before that I want to give you a general method which I use to approach identities and formulae. Suppose you are given two non-intuitive identities. So now you think like you need to remember them for the test. So you, you start using methods which I call criminal. Number one method is rote memorization. That is when you try to remember the identities as it is and you try to memorize them through repetition. This is fine if you're trying to memorize the, your telephone number or someone else's telephone number, but uh, when you're doing mathematics, you miss the point. So any method which you use and you miss the point, that is a criminal method. Same thing goes for mnemonics. Like it is fine when you're trying to remember the colors in the rainbow or the order and the size of the planets but when you're doing mathematics using mnemonics you again miss the point though this is a tricky one because sometimes you use mnemonics like Sokoto to remember the some kind of convention at that point you may think it's uh, not so criminal but whenever you have a formula which will surely involve some idea and you try to remember it by using some mnemonic like saka kasa or something then it's criminal another thing which many people use and you might not realize that this criminal is using patterns in representation that is you look at the formula for the sign of the sum of angles and you see okay it has got mixed products sine cos cos sine and when you look at the cosine it is uh, uniform products, cos, cos, sine, sine. So you think like, okay, for sine it's mixed, for cos it's not, for sine the sum, uh, the plus remains a plus, for cos the plus changes into a minus. Uh, what I'll try to do in this video is to show you the non-criminal methods uh, where you don't miss the point of the identities because our point is to learn mathematics, not just store some data in our head. Analogy. For example, a plus b whole square, use that analogy for sine of alpha plus beta to understand what you're actually trying to do. Uh, so a plus b whole square, you're trying to express the square of a sum as the squares and products of the components. And over here, you're trying to express the sine of a sum as the sines and cosines of its components and obviously they are getting multiplied. Visual intuition, which I'll just show you uh, in a minute. And lastly, and I cannot stress this enough, is proving the result yourself. So let's go over to the visual intuition. So here, uh, here is a sheet, and we are going to draw a unit circle. A unit circle is the geometric figure which we use to study most of trigonometry. Almost all the identities can be obtained by just playing around with the circle. So we need our first angle. Our first angle. So that's in red. And our first angle is going to be alpha. And similarly, we'll need our second angle. So we'll need our second angle. And that angle is going to be in orange. It's going to be beta. So now we want to have a triangle to express the sum, the sum of angles. So instead of dropping a perpendicular here, I'm going to drop a perpendicular on the y-axis. So I drop a perpendicular on the y-axis and complete the triangle. And I'll do that in order to get an alternate angle since the blue segment is parallel to the x-axis. Uh, I'll mark an angle here in purple. This purple angle is equal to the sum of the red and orange. So this is also equal to alpha plus beta. And here I have pasted a picture so that uh, you can uh, use this picture to mark the sides. Here H is the hypotenuse and there's an angle X. The side opposite to X is the hypotenuse times the sine of x, the side adjacent to x is the hypotenuse times the cosine of x. This is just the definition of sine and cos. So we are going to label the sides of this blue triangle. 
So here are the hypotenuses of length 1 since we are on the unit circle. So the adjacent side is just going to be the cosine of alpha plus beta and the opposite side is going to be the sine of alpha plus beta. Now we need our triangle for the angle beta but before that we are going to before that we are going to construct an angle in this blue triangle. So all the angles in the blue triangle are now labeled. So now we want to construct a triangle for the angle beta and I think the most natural triangle to construct from beta is by dropping the perpendicular on the red radius. So we'll draw a perpendicular and we'll mark the rest of the red radius black. So our red the red segment will be the base and the red segment is equal to the cosine of beta because the hypotenuse is again of length 1 this is the unit circle and the opposite side is just sine of beta and now we want to uh, drop a perpendicular on the x-axis from the point where the red, red segment turns black so we will do just that we dropped the perpendicular on the x-axis and uh, notice that the hypotenuse is no longer 1 it's cosine of beta so the adjacent side will be cosine of beta cos alpha and the opposite side will be cosine of beta sine alpha and now this diagram is looking somewhat incomplete so in order to complete it we need to extend we need to extend the red and the green blue side so we'll extend the red and we'll extend the blue and we'll obtain a green right angle triangle and the whole picture now is a rectangle so we need this the value of the angle over here but before doing that we will construct an angle in this red triangle again since the blue side and the green red side are parallel to each other uh, this green angle is alternate to gamma plus beta so it is also equal to gamma plus beta and now we will try to find out what the angle in the green triangle is equal to so we will construct the angle in the green triangle in red since gamma plus beta plus alpha is 90 degrees and in this line the sum of the angles are make 180 degrees and this is 90 degrees and gamma plus beta plus alpha is also 90 so this uh, red angle is none other than alpha now we can uh, label the sides of this green triangle the hypotenuse is sine beta so the adjacent is just going to be sine sine beta it's just going to be sine let me just grab this one sine beta cos alpha and the opposite side is going to be sine beta sine alpha so as you can see we have now obtained our formula the identity this blue side is sine alpha plus beta but since this is a rectangle it's equal to the green plus red so sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine beta cos alpha plus cos beta sine alpha because blue is green plus red and cos alpha plus beta is just this red minus green so cos alpha plus beta is cos beta cos alpha minus sine beta sine alpha so I think this picture provides some visual intuition for you uh, feel free to reconstruct this picture or find your own proof because only through proof will you learn mathematics hope you agree Thank you.